Hold up. Hey yo, Finn here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Originally, I was gonna make a Minecraft video for today, just played with Ender Soldier a little bit, but well, I guess why not? I'll just go back to this game if you want to. I don't care if it get gets low views. I mean, come on, I'm running out of ideas. So before we do so, let me just uh, turn the music down for a bit. So uh, yeah. Um, Anywho, we're gonna continue where we left off. I forgot. I okay. I think it's this one right here. So let's start that. Anywho, so um, before I'll uh continue the game right here, don't want me to just hmm. Let's see. So uh, yeah. Um, before I'll begin a video, of course, be sure to leave a like, comment down for more stuff, and of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to um subscribe for more stuff and. Oh, just knocked down a, uh, a Pringles can on my feet here. So yeah, um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click on the bell notification on when I'm going to upload. So uh, yeah, and, um, shaking my uh, my desk. Yeah. Anywho, we're gonna left off with Natsuki here. So yeah. Hey, I need them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged for the table. As I already mentioned, it, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like hats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to put ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so cute. With that baking Natsuki. <laughs> Alright guys, um I guess from now on I'm not gonna do any voice acting for this because it's really getting weird to be honest. But um I don't know. Like I said, comment down if you want me to see more voice acting in future videos like this one, I guess. Hey, <laughs> well, you know. Let's hurry and take one. So I already grabs first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Ayori talks with her mouth full and has a ready mash to get an icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor, I wonder if she made it herself. Yeah, this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Uh, Sundre, guys, Sundre, if you watch anime, of course. You can anime Sundre is. Made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for... You, you know, you. Dummy. Alright, alright. Give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the company. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. He carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't the hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, <laughs> don't get yourself intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? Th that's not... Salted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, reading and... Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. 
Monaco raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure we'll feel right at home, okay? As president of the... <coughs> Sorry. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? Could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I couldn't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It's like nothing but arguing, but the budget and pub pub public pub publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Say, Monica really make really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And then I'm surprised there aren't any more people in the club yet. <clears throat> Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not only people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard and convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Of course guys, put your efforts into it and of course, have fun, it's simple. I always have fun making videos like these actually, especially Minecraft, of course, but if you guys don't, if, but if you guys don't like this then completely understand because I understand why it's dead but again I'm running out of ideas so don't let don't, just don't but it makes school events like the festival that much more important I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate right everyone yeah we'll do our best you know it everyone enthusiastically agrees such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. I'll be honest guys, uh, literature, uh, it's kinda eh. Since I do like reading books and stuff like that, well... I guess I'll take that as a yes, maybe, but um, I don't quite like literature. I read books, comics, manga, or novels, stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Cool. So Finn, what thing, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, I. What did I say earlier, guys? Comics. Well, right down here. If you, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but really, my camera's pan down low. Right there. There's some books right there, so yeah, let me just put my camera back up. Yeah, like I said, comics, ma um, manga, I know manga is Japanese comics, but still they're different. Well, uh, considering how little I've read the past few years, I really don't have, I, really, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> Manga. I knew it. I knew it, guys. It's manga. Well, technically, right there, the, the, the toy books. If you see that, well, pfft. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly pricks up. Oh my god! Where did I see that? I know it's a game, but man. Why? I'm so embarrassed of myself right now. It looks like she wants to say something. Get out! Sorry, that was something. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a read, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. 
Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri chases the rim of her cup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build complex and fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling them a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Well, that's uh, pretty cool actually. I quite like that. So, yeah. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep physiological elements usually enrich me as well. Isn't that amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own? Lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror movies. Uh, I read a horror book. Well, actually, guys, um, I don't read horror books. Um, I just I I am I'm used to um, <laughs> read creepy pasta books. But all right, I guess that kind of counts. I guess or not. Quick, two. And I guess I'll save that right here. Well, so. With that, I desperately grasp something I can re relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. A rock! Of course, talking to your pet rock. I mean, like, of course, you would talk to your pet rock okay, here, so, like, of course, I. I. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Really? I would have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. What? You're, gonna, you're not gonna say anything? That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meet. It looks like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Hehe, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just cute as you are. Sayori seals up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on the folder. I'm not cute! <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Of course, I quite liking poems. Well, actually, my girlfriend makes a lot of poems and stories, so um, I quite enjoy reading hers, so I don't know if I should include that in the description. Maybe not, I don't know. You can, you guys can figure it out, I guess. It's Alpharos TV, or you can search it up. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Exactly, exactly, guy. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, dot dot dot. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. You all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Eh? Sayori so and Yuri look quiz quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, the next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. 
That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Dot dot dot. Yeah! Let's do it! <laughs> Plus now, that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Finn? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. One problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth and with what with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Sayori have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and um I lose my train of thought. Uh why are you guys looking at me like that? Please, that's that's really kind of you. Well, first, hmm, <laughs> love, man, that's really, really um, embarrassing. Uh, but sorry, I thought, <laughs> man, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful things. Right. Alright, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yay, I'm so happy! <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. <gasps> Alright, I'm sorry, that was, um, that was some kind of weird there. Okay. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers... Everyone remember tonight's assignment. By the promen... Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Then I look forward to see how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. I didn't really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre skills. <laughs> mediocre writing skills. Actually, not gonna lie. My writings doesn't make any sense, but I mean, I have meaning in them. I'm not that good, but at least I tried, okay? At least I tried. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Nasu. You know what? I think I'm gonna save it off right here, so, uh, yeah. Um, thank you guys also for much for watching episode 2 of Doki Doki Literature Club. So uh, like I said before I end the video, be sure to leave a like, comment down for more, and of course if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more. And of course if you're gonna be notified on when am I going to upload, please click the bell notification. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching this episode as much as I do. So uh, yeah, um, thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay awesome, love you all, Finn the Dime Knight signing off. Stay awesome guys, love you all. See you next time.